had rains last few days the monsoons came so here is our asparagus nothing new have to wait out this year some new ones coming up but uh, not ready to eat just quite yet and our carrots are coming over here and they're getting big but they're kind of clumped together unfortunately so hopefully these ones will have some they won't be well thin over here we have our cabbage that I thought was gonna get eaten by all the bugs but it looks like it's forming this guy's coming and we have our sweet peas that don't like the heat too much but I don't know if they're gonna produce anymore but we kind of were thinking of throwing some cucumbers in there and there's some whole beans and we had some spinach that looks like it's kind of going away uh, kind of coming back by a little bit and some chard and over here we have our herbs with our rosemary and our basil and our chives and our thyme over here have some more peas but then we have some bees and some cucumbers growing in there and then we planted all these with I think it looks like I planted them with weeds but um, they are a mixture of um, let me think now maybe some chard and uh, some New Zealand spinach some others so we'll see and we have some lettuce that we need to start picking over here are cucumbers after like seems like eight attempts but three attempts came up we have a lot so we're gonna have to thin but that's good because at least we have some so we'll uh, get some this year looks like a beet right there and some rogue squash of some sort and here's some okra right there and we had a little critter get in here and dig it all up which is interesting but then here's our cabbage that survived hopefully that will be good there's our sage over here we picked our garlic last time we have some onions and then with this box here so I threw in some squash over here our beans are they love the rain which I guess all of them do but uh, black beans lemon beans pole beans and regular bush beans and here is our tomatoes which finally started to come up because the conditions we have some blossoms I'm gonna train them to grow vertically don't have the net up quite yet but uh, then I planted a, I believe a spaghetti squash right there, so we'll have that go up. And then some pepper plants right there. And over here, I have some more tomatoes. And uh, we do have the net up for that. And then some squash and then some zucchini. And then I planted some other greens in there. Over here we planted some butternut squash over there and maybe some oh I don't know over here we have watermelon and they really love flourishing the hot humid conditions here at least humid for here some more squash might be some type of uh, zucchini over here we have a marigold in between over here some more maybe some yellow I'm not sure and then here's our one and only wild sunflower and then some more squash along with the mulch and then this guy who decided hey I'm just gonna take off because it's really nice see we got some blossoms but we have a first zucchini right there so I'm happy some other blossoms then we have some more guys over here and lastly some spaghetti and a little acorn thrown in there. Then we have our little row of onion. Onions that onions are lo not looking too happy, so let's start pulling those. And then we have is this butternut over here, I believe so, and a marigold. And this is our pumpkin who decided he's just loving it. Look at all those blossoms right there, and there's a little buggy bug. Or is it a bee? That's a bee. We got another one. Some other pumpkins. And then right over here, we're trying part two of our sunflower house. And that is, you know, get around the perimeter through the sunflowers, and then when they get all big, the kids can go inside, and that'll be their little house. And I replanted them so you can see a few of them are starting to pop up around. And this is our outdoor compost with some weeds there. And then 
No, it looks like I have my helpers over here. We have one, if you can see it behind there, we have a blueberry, which I don't know if it likes Arizona too much. We have a raspberry. We have Maddie. Say hi, Maddie. Hi. Say hi, Eliana. Hi. And then, but you don't have to water because we just had the rain. And then our last little boxes, we have some chard that's loving it. I'm going to have to cut this. And then um, we have yellow and zucchini. Yellow squash and zucchini is coming up over here. So hopefully it'll rain again. We've been in these monsoons and uh, enjoying it. So we'll be here and uh, hopefully we'll get some zucchini and everything started. So bye-bye.